my take is that is that um, there, there are a lot to do there that really is untapped. Remember how the um, Malaysians came to Nigeria to get the, the palm canal and took it to Malaysia and become something else today. That's one avenue of them making, getting the GDP rising all the way. Uh, when, we, when we discovered oil, we forgot about other stuffs. We forgot about any other stuff that could. But you remember that before the oil, agriculture used to be one of our source of income, of revenue, of a GDP in Nigeria. And if we can sustain it at that time, even with the drive of technology and whatever this time around, we should still look at it that is a source that we have not tapped. Look at what is happening in uh, Ivory Coast on cocoa. The cocoa process now that they all knew that, oh, this is what is giving them so much money because you get a lot of chocolates from there all over the world. And these are part of Africa. We have cocoa in in um, the cocoa in Sapele, we have cocoa in uh, even in Benue. I don't know, I think maybe in Benue, I don't know, but we have in Ondo, a huge depot in Ondo. We have in, in uh, Cross River. So you have in those areas, are they tapping it? I must give it to the um, governor of Cross River who has been active, proactive to creating an industry for cocoa, not like they used to do before, you just go and put it on the sun till, till it gets dried and you start processing to exports. Export is a big market, but it's what you can bring in on board. So those are areas we have not tapped on. The, the food crops in Benue. We used to you know Benue as one of the, the giant, the food market, the food market of Nigeria. Talk about yam, talk about whatever, mango. These are mangoes we have people exporting mango from Adamawa. So, you know, this is a process you can export, but it's the process. So we have to create the awareness for we to for our youth morphs to return back into farming. There are a lot to be untapped in the farming industry, uh, but we have to look at how does the government going to work about it. But I'm so glad that the government today, our President Mohamed Bouhari, His Excellency has been hitting on that, on farming, because he himself is a farmer. We have people like the former head of state, President Mohamed, uh, President Olusegun Obasanjo, who is into farming as one of his source of adding value into the country after he retired from the service. We have people like uh, um, General Abu Salam, so, and so on. We have the governor of, um, uh, former governor of Nasarawa State, who is a senator now. Those are going on farming. There are a lot of them going on farming, but there are so much to do. But we have to create the awareness. One other last thing again, if you look at uh, Indian, Indian is into, with the population of Indian in the world, if you think about what they're doing in, in farming, in agriculture, and some of them, in, agriculture is wide. Look at the Indian planting a lot of trees in, in, in thousands, in millions there. In another 10 years or more, those are going to be a source of income, right, making, building up the GDP of Indian. By the time you start getting the, 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 the timbers, so those are areas we've not really looked at. Uh -huh. I think it's for the Nigerian government to make the SME, the Central Bank of Nigeria, to make it an easy access for the youths to access funds without too much of bureaucracy, collaterals or whatever, guarantees, make it easier. And one of the areas I think which could make it easier is about the identity to be able to trace your credit rating, a track record. We have, we have not gotten it right there. Even with the, the driver's license they're doing, you still, you, you know, there's a process, but we have to get that right. When you get the credit rate records right, it creates credibility of whoever you are giving the phones. And with that, you can, people can have an easy access 
to get funds because even the banks are not using the, their own money, it's people's money. So they want to have a security to that. And many a times, a lot of people, a lot of Nigerians have misused the opportunity, people at the top, at the low below, have used, misused the opportunity, taking huge loan from the bank and squander the money and feel that they could wherever use their powers and the connections and they all just dine and it becomes a bad debt to the bank. All right, thank you very much, sir. Thank you.